Traditionally, a good way to start a resume would be with a section titled Objective, in which you could put what job it was you were applying for. But things have changed a bit when it comes to that old standard, and it's no longer recommended to write an objective on a resume. Instead, you should provide the employer with a professional profile, also known as a profile statement or a professional summary. While an objective states what you are applying for and what you bring to the job you are seeking, a professional profile is a way to show employers who you are professionally and what you can offer the organization in terms of strength and experience. Here are three steps to take when writing a professional profile. Number one, list your years of education or experience. Begin your statement declaring your years of experience in a specific position or field of work. This catches the employer's eye early on and proves you have what it takes to move forward in the hiring process. If you are a working professional, one example of this might be accomplished elementary school teacher with seven years of experience. If you are a student, it might say business student with three years of foundational knowledge and application in marketing research. Number two, list your specialty or area of expertise and achievements. Here you can mention a specialty in the industry that you possess. You want to stand out to employers, so sharing what you are especially skilled at or knowledgeable about is key. If you are a student or a recent grad and do not have any areas of expertise to speak of yet, focus on job duties you've mastered or projects you focused on in class. For example, if you are a working professional, you may write something like, success in goal setting, classroom organization, and acknowledgement for effectively integrating visual arts into the classroom through innovative technology. If you're a current student, you may write something like, experience developing marketing strategies to fit client and consumer needs. Number three, list some specific skills and value you can contribute to the employer. Make this sentence about what you can bring to the job and the employer. One example might be, ability to assist students in discovering and leveraging their strengths while fostering an inclusive learning environment. A student might say, seeking to contribute creativity and a collaborative approach. When you put these three elements together, you get a solid representation of who you are as a professional. This will leave a much bigger impact than simply telling the employer which position you're applying for. If you need any assistance with writing a professional profile, feel free to stop by the Office of Career and Life Planning and we will gladly look things over with you.